Hey there, we're gonna make a quick video on uh, pressing some sleeves back into a block. I made a video a little while back, quite a while back actually, of pulling these sleeves out with a kind of a homemade press deal. And we had to make a few changes and this is how we're gonna get it back in. All right, so what we got here is, it's basically the same exact thing if you've seen my other video, but uh, just reverse concept here. This is that uh, disc that I had bought from McMaster Car for like 20 or so dollars. Um, and it fits the, the liner just perfectly on top. And it's got a hole going through it. And then this is just a spacer so that I can run that whole disc down flush with the top of the block there, but not hit my studs. And so anyhow, this got a hole through it and that nut or that dowel is just free traveling. And then I've got a nut on top here and that's welded on there. And of course on the bottom side of the rod there's a uh, there's a bracket down there. We'll see if we can take a look here. There's a bracket down there that just got a hole through it and not threaded on. And it's catching on the bottom side of the cylinder. I think you can see that fine. But um, anyhow, so, Clark, you want to hold the camera? You just go and as you can see there, it's, we've got all of them done. This is the last one and you press it in as far as you can go with the jacks. And then um, that's about as far as I can go. And then what we'll do is we'll let the jacks, um, let the pressure off the jacks and we'll, we'll push them down. And then on the bottom side there, we can just thread that nut up a little bit farther up on the bottom side to get another bite and press that sleeve in the rest of the way. So that's, what's, that's what I'm doing and I don't know right or wrong, but that's how I'm making it work. So, we'll catch you later.